You know, for many of us, the holidays are a joyful time. For others, though, it simply adds more stress, anxiety, and depression. Denver 7 reporter Russell Haythorn introduces us to a new nonprofit in Denver working to improve mental health through volunteering this holiday season and beyond. Their stories tell themselves. I was embarrassed not saying anything, and I'm not there now because I feel free of it. It's tough. There's still a stigma around mental wellness and depression, and it's hard to talk about. We are all kind of disguising it on some level. Everybody at some point struggles with something. Each of them, Justin, Whitney, Derek, and Lindsay, lived a previous life struggling with some form of mental illness. Something was missing. An eating disorder. Depression. Crazy. <laughs> Today, they're helping others by helping themselves. And now I'm just the happiest I've ever been. I'm really living and pursuing this dream. <laughs> they all got here through one thing volunteering. You're with like-minded people. Project Helping is the first of its kind in Metro Denver and perhaps anywhere. While most volunteer organizations primarily focus on those receiving the help, Project Helping focuses on the volunteers themselves. Founder Justin Kruger spent better than a decade in corporate America. But I struggled really intensely through that time with depression. What? For Derek Stewart, it's been a journey of finding passion and support. You can kind of lean on their shoulder when times are tough. For Whitney Gale, it's been nothing short of a lifesaver. It's amazing. It's like, it's like a movement. Like we're helping and we're changing the world and the way we think about things. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. Project Helping works with many traditional nonprofits, Food Bank of the Rockies, Project Cure, Urban Peak, but only those that offer real mental health benefits to volunteers.